Here's a unit test testing proper parsing of some log file. It prepares some content to parse, calls the parser and verifies the result. This test is small, simple and expressive, but it has one unnecessary smell. It uses I.O. directly, which slows down the test, makes it dependent on the environment and reduces the reliability of the test. We can easily remove this smell by abstracting the detail of the file system I.O. The simplest form of abstraction is an interface. We could create such an interface as abstraction to the actual file system by ourselves, but in .NET there is already a widely used project available for that purpose, which is System IO Abstractions. To use it, we first add a new package reference, and then introduce a new constructor, which accepts IL file system as argument. We also create an explicit default constructor to not break the existing code, which instantiates the file system object, which acts as an adapter to the real file system. Finally, we change the implementation of read all messages such that we use the file system object instead of the static file class provided by the .NET framework. To make use of this abstraction, we add another package to the unit test project, which is system.io abstractions.testhelpers. This package contains an alternative implementation of iFileSystem, which allows simulating a file system in memory. We create such a mock file system, add a simulated file and its content, and pass this instance to the newly introduced constructor of the log reader. When we run the test, we see that it passes without having any dependency to the real file system. A higher level of abstraction is the abstraction on conceptual level, in this case, by introducing a stream or a reader. The concept of streams and readers exists in many programming languages and frameworks, so in most cases no external library is needed. To make use of this concept in the log reader, we first introduce a new method, which reads all lines from a text reader. We then introduce a new public API which accepts a text reader and uses our new method to read all lines from there. Finally, we convert the existing API which still accepts a file pass such that it uses the newly API internally so that both APIs are effectively sharing the same implementation. In the test case, we then create a simple string simulating the file content and we create a text reader which reads the content from that string. Finally, we pass this reader instead of the file pass to the log reader using the new API. We run the test again and see that this abstraction works as expected as well. And that's it! The smell of direct AO in a unit test is removed without introducing noteworthy additional complexity. Furthermore, especially the second design alternative has other benefits as well. For example, think of the open-close principle. Which design do you prefer in such cases? Abstraction by interface? Abstraction by concept? Or no abstraction at all? Let me know in the comments.